Today I'm gonna talk about all of these Casio watches that will be out on the month of May but note that looking at how Japan is handling COVID-19 outbreak, I have a feeling most of these watches will be delayed, especially the anticipated new G-Squad series, the GBD100 and the GBDH1000, which is supposedly to be released last month but have been delayed for this month. But even if they manage to release this watch for the month, I have a feeling they wouldn't be able to keep up with the high demand for this G-Shock series. But regardless, these are Casio attempt at entering sport smart watch market and this is their first attempt and I'm really impressed with all the specs so far, especially at a price like that. Where I'm talking about the GBDH1000, but if you are low on the budget, if you're just looking for an entry level sport smart watch by G-Shock, the GBD100 is the way to go at it. Only 20,000 Japanese yen, and I'm sure if you live in the US or outside of Japan, basically you could get one at a much cheaper price. Usually they will be slightly cheaper. And if I'm not mistaken, even though the GBDH1000, the G-Shock watch with five sensors built in, will be sold at 50,000 yen in Japan. In the US, the price will be just around 399, which is incredible considering all the things that it has to offer. There's literally no wristwatch that has the same hardware as this one that is on the market today. So this is gonna be really competitive, but we'll see how it goes. Now, next we'll have new color series for the GMAS 140. I will say natural color because it has a brown, light brown and dark brown colorway for skin tone to match with and uh, basically they are a small size version of the boombox series GA140 they still have the same functions but they are smaller so there you go I'm not a big fan of this anymore but if you are and if you like the colors then go on right ahead the price is really fair 14,500 Japanese yen only and let's move on to the premium G-Shock watch now this new GMWB 5000 CS will feature a blackout body like the one that was released before except this time the laser edge the entire surface of it with a grid tunnel pattern basically to show the or to send a message of the flows of time from the past to the future just to show how much this square G-Shock watch has changed over time quite literally 35 years of change and yet they still managed to keep the same profile at the same time improve of the interior components interior constructions and the idea of it's just really really cool and looking at it I have a feeling what Casio are actually trying to do is that they're trying to show off their capabilities at uh, precision printing. In this case, they're using laser and they just etch it all around the watch and that makes the watch looks really cool. And this is really gonna be a limited edition. And I'm sure these are made for the fans, for the collectors, not so much for just average users because you could pick one up. Uh, something similar like this without all of the grid tunnels at a much cheaper price. And next we're gonna talk about other black G-Shock watch. This is the GSTB200, one of my favorite G-Steel series by far. Solar powered Bluetooth G-Shock watch in all blacked out. And this is indeed a collaboration with a street artist from based from China, if I'm not mistaken. If you check the artist's Instagram page, you can see all of the artwork that he has done and how he do it as well, which is pretty cool, it's pretty fun. It's, it's a mix between Chinese culture and Chinese art culture with uh, American street culture, you know. So that's why it used a uh, made a collaboration with G-Shock, so to represent all of the message. but. Uh, just disregard all those for me personally. I just like the colorway just as it is I'm not a big fan of the design on the watch band But for the color overall and including the box that came along with the watch. I have to say it looks pretty cool and Yeah, for the price which is not as expensive as the basic one I would opt up to get one of this if you haven't picked one up yet, but We'll see how it goes. I'm gonna check if the price is gonna go up or down for and then I'll make my final decision. But right now, let's move it on to other G-Shock watch that it made a collaboration with, which is pretty rare. Usually, a street artist would only make collaborations or base their design on the entry-level, mid-level G-Shock watch. But this time, he is using the MTG, the premium line G-Shock watch as the base model, and that is something unique. The last time someone did this is Maharshi, and that watch price went way up and I'm feeling the same thing will happen to this one especially if you look at the watch it's so simple so cool it came in special box and packaging as well but if you compare the MTGB1000 to this GSTB200 I prefer the 200 series more than the MTG but still 
looks really really good in comparison to other mtg but i if i could change the field i would recommend them to use bracelet instead of a resin band but that's probably just me again street artist basically inspired by formless tai chi and the uh, use black colorway mostly moving on we'll have baby g watch this is called i would say skeleton color series new color which already exists before but this time it came in turquoise to match with summer season there's a transparent pink and clear transparent with greenish face looks pretty beautiful but the functions didn't really work like on the g-shock it's just more of a appearance than functions of course all of these watches will be incredibly tough moving on we have a square baby g watch which is good the color is vibrant it really shouts summer season but i don't think most people could experience summers for the year but still it looks really really nice and the price is incredibly cheap as well so that's really really good you still get all of the high quality beauty and all the functionality like a g-shock watch in this case smaller size than a g-shock moving on we have a baby g this is like the g steel version but in this case baby g so they call this gms series uh, the price will be a bit expensive because it uses metal mostly the functions are really really basic it's just analog with date display and resin band what makes this watch special than to other watch on the market is that it is solo powered okay so you don't have to swap the battery at all the size is small this is made for women that's all the color uh, choice so this one is solar power right this one is solar wave scepter to multiband too note that both of this a series was only intended for japanese market only hence multiband to signal the radio signal that japan received if you live outside of japan i wouldn't recommend that because you couldn't get the full functionality but if you still like it then go on right ahead next pro track watch something that most people could use this is a pencil collaboration which will came a special carabiner if i'm not mistaken and special packaging as well the price in my opinion is fair for what it has to offer it is a collaboration between three brands and the colorway is also really really nice there's also a new edifice colorway that was just introduced a few months back the ecb 10 the bluetooth equipped sort of like the popular ga2100 series g-shock but it is metal body metal forge body to be exact it is a sporty watch for edifice series for motorsports uh, race cars and such but what I could see here is an all black with red accent and that looks really really beautiful but the price got to go to 35,000 Japanese and quite expensive I'm not willing to spend the amount of money for it if it's yet but we'll see how it goes in the future um, planning on making a review on this on one of these later on now last but not least is the Kelsey Sheen series a cleaner basically a watch that just look like an ordinary watch if you look on top to the GMS series it has all the padding it has the bumps on the side it's quite big but the scale machine series is literally just a regular watch but still have solar powered and this one will have yeah just solar powered no wave sensor in this case silver and rose gold and all gold and all black 30,000 Japanese yen because it uses solid end links if you ever hold onto one of these the quality is in Packable. This feels really, really premium despite being so small. They still managed to add solar panel on that, meaning the watch would be pretty tough and last you a really, really long time. But then again, these are meant for women or people with small wrist. So that will be it, guys. My favorite pick again will be the GBD 1000, and I'm gonna pick for the ECB 10 edifice the black top with red accents. And my third pick would be the ProTrack PRW60 YJP, a small size ProTrack watch, triple sensor solar wave sensor as well, right? Yeah, with a collaboration with three major brands. That's for me. Thank you very much for watching. This is Jeff and I'm out.